Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to another tutorial. I know it's been a long time since I did the last one, but you know what? This one is gonna be the 2021 update. I'm just updating my game to the latest version. After the KO Perico heist, I'm gonna be showing you guys, you know, my tech stuff, uh, how to mod the game, um, just, just tech stuff in general. But anyway, this is gonna be our first episode where I'm gonna be showing you guys how to mod GTA. This is the first tutorial. We, we, we're just gonna try our best to go step by step on like how to mod and stuff like that. But anyway, let's go on my desktop. Let's start. Okay, guys, so we just transferred to desktop. Now, one of them, I'm actually gonna be showing you guys the mod list that I prepared for you guys. So, the first step is to download Steam. I know most of you guys probably have Steam already. Oh, it depends on how you got GTA 5. Now, since you have Steam, you probably download Steam. I'm pretty sure is straightforward on how to install steam and stuff like that probably on your c drive and after um you download steam now let's make sure we open steam i'm opening steam right now all right so now that we have that cover make sure we go to library of course i'm just waiting okay so there you have it all right so the best way for you to find where gta is located is by right clicking on steam properties and then go to local files and then browse boom you should have your gta file folder where me i have a bunch of um copy of gta so i will have to keep com coming back and doing the mods over and over again where i install everything one by one but these these are all these are all old copies so your folder should look something like this that is straightforward for most of you guys that are new to this. If this is your first time modding it, you already installed Steam. The next step is to go find this folder right here. Most of you guys will have this folder in your C drive. So if you don't have that folder in your C drive, you probably install it somewhere else. It depends on where you direct this folder, but this is what it looks like. The next step is to make a mod folder. Once you make the mod folder, you're going to transfer these files. So from A to W, and then you're going to transfer this file and your x64 and also your update file. You're going to just copy those and then transfer it into your mod folder. But now I don't want to mess up this version because this is my original version. So let's rename this. So the best thing for most of you guys that have the drive space is for you to just rename the folder. Once you rename the folder, you won't mess it up or anything like that. So this is my fresh copy and oh no 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 actually this is my 5m copy <laughs> let's take that back because i like to still have a fresh version for 5m okay so now we're going to rename the fresh copy which is one of the which is one of the folder i re um change uh, as far as transferring my mod transferring all these files in there already so when you go into my mod folder this is what your mod folder should look like so this is the first step after you download Steam and everything should look like that. So this is the folder that you're going to be messing with the most. I don't know if some of you guys still use like I learned the hard way because every time we have an update, trust me, you don't want to go directly into the regular files. Then you're going to you're just going to have an issue every update. This is this saved me a lot of time. But anyway, um, other than that, so your folder should look something like this. All right, so I hope you guys are ready now. Now, the next step, let's go to the mod list. The next step is to download when I are. Uh, that is most of you guys might have it. Most of you guys might not. This is the best way for you to unpack most of your files. That is just let me switch this on. That is just best um, for uh, it, when it comes to like unpacking the file and stuff like that. This is the best um, app that I use and stuff like that. But the next step is open IV. Open IV, which is something you need. <laughs> like Open IV saved me a lot of time. Now I already have Open IV. I, let, let me see. I'm, I'm just gonna download it one more time. All right, let's download this. Uh, English. Accept that. Let me see. I usually install it on my C drive. Open IV. You can actually trust it, of course. Let's run it after this installation venue uh yes so this is what it will look like this is the first step that you have to go through 
and yes if you just click into this video this is the 2021 <laughs> version of the installation since i'm doing the installation for myself i decided to do it with you guys also and you know which game you're going to so we used to mod back in the days with liberty city with gta 4 you guys seen my gta 4 videos but today we are modding not red dead not max Payne, but gta 5 this is what you're here for now you have to let this um let OpenIV know exactly where your GTA is. So you're gonna browse, and then all you have to do is go back to where your GTA is. Copy that. Copy the um the file location. Paste it in here. Enter, and then select folder. You see that? It found exactly which version of GTA that I'm using, and now we're we are ready to go. Click on continue. Don't forget to back up your original files. I usually don't back it up because I, I I know the process, but if you feel like you need to do it, this is for your own safety, of course. But um, continue. But now you're gonna wait until it encrypt like the, the folders and stuff like that once you get that done. So we're done with OpenIV now. Let's close that. Let's wait on it. Now we figure out where the file for GTA is too. All right, so let's close that and let's close this too. All right, so I hope you guys are ready. Now go to tools and ASI manager. So now those things I installed already. Most likely it might look red or yellow. I'm not sure how it's gonna look for you guys, but you have to make sure you install the ASI loader open IV .asi and uh, open camera install all these install everything it should show you like install like I can let me see if I can actually uninstall so it should be showing blue I guess so let's install it again as you guys can see once you install everything now you set now this is open IV one thing I usually change for open IV also is go to option and I like uh, for this to be edit. When I open it, I shouldn't have to click on edit every time. And what other option again? And I think that's about it. I mean, this is if this is your first time modding, of course. Please be careful on what you change and stuff like that. Open format. Um, yeah, I think that's it for now. A lot edit mode only for archive. Inside. No. I like to see both folders because sometimes I like to modify stuff. All right, so you are inside your game right now. As you guys can see, I create a shortcut for my open IV. Just make sure you pen open IV once it's open over here. All right, so let's get back to this. Your folder should look something like this now. Now that you have the mod folder, everything looks like that. Uh, let's see. Everything is in here. Everything that I need is in here right now. So let's go back to your Grand Theft Auto. Now let's go back to the mod list. You need Scriptbook 5. <laughs> Scriptbook 5, which is going to help you, uh, which is an ASI you need to be able to do anything in the game. So let's go. Without, um, most of the time when um, they update the game, you have to wait until they update Scriptbook 5. That's the only way we can actually modify the game, of course. All right, as you guys can see, I got the file now. Okay, so it's mostly drag and drop. That's why I'm always telling you guys drag and drop, drag and drop. But you know what? I'm showing you guys exactly how to do it. Just go into the bin folder. Uh, the only file that I need from here is cryphook5.dl. I'm going to drag it in here uh, in the D input. I already have one from OpenIV, but it, I feel like it's the same thing. You already have it in there. You see, it's only going to ask you to replace it, which is the same file that you got from OpenIV already installed it for you and stuff like that. So you don't really need you don't really need anything else but Scriptbook 5. So let's exit this folder. You see that? Check. So, so far from the list, guys, let's, from the list so far, we got Steam, right? We got WinRL, OpenIV, we got Scriptbook 5, Scriptbook.net. We can actually skip. You can actually skip that if you are going to LSPF, if you are going to install LSPF4.com. But other than that, it's, it's really up to you. That part, um, I know I'm definitely going to need it, but this is like one last step that I usually um, 
take because i want to know if this is a a regular gta 5 that i'm installing or if this is an lsbfr version but right now we're gonna go we are going to get the original enb which is this link right over here um let's open the link so you kind of need to download this before you download um visual five which is what i'm going back to so one of the main reason why i'm going back to visual five guys is because most of you guys been asking for oh he's typing in short i was like wait wait which one is it all right so this is the update version let's download this as you guys can see i always try my best to download this first right once we're done with that Make sure we install it now. So one of the part that I install is the D3 D11 and D3 um, compiler. All right. So everything else, I don't know. I feel like I can actually find this on Visual Five. So let's leave that alone for now. <laughs> so we're done with that. We are done with that. If I skip any steps, um. I do have an old tutorial, of course, but if you um, if you feel like um, you're missing something or I skip a step or anything like that, you can actually leave some question under this video description. I mean, under this video comment section, so I can actually answer you and stuff like that. So now that we got the ENB guys, uh, we get a chance to move on to Visual Five, Visual Five, which is uh, the ENB that I've been using for the longest. So you got Visual Five. Let's download it. Pretty sure it's gonna take us forever to download this. Oh, not really. All right, so now that we have Visual Five, let's wait. Should be done in a second. Okay, there you go. All right, once you get Visual Five, I'll make sure you unpack this. Right, so let's put this down. All right, so. I like to get my game ready like this before I decide if this is going to be an LSBF fall version or if this is going to be a regular version. So let's install this. So most of you guys might not see it showing like that. So you got to make sure you go to properties change and then open IV should be on your desktop. So if you go to more since you open open IV, you can actually go into your desktop and once you find open IV there. You can actually let me see desktop over here. You see open IV right over here. Let's open it. Apply. So it can actually know that you're gonna be using open IV to install this pack pack file with um for Visual Five. So let's double click on that. Let's follow I mean you guys go ahead and follow exactly the same step that I'm taking right now. So let's go install. Now remember the, the step that I was telling you about where if you use the game folder or the mod folder, I don't use the game folder anymore because it's just going to be a headache for you, especially when Rockstar sent out an update. So let's use the mod folder, which is what I, we just installed a second ago. Install confirm installation. So let it do its thing. So this this um this pack is being installed in your GTA right now. That is it's being installed. It, it, I mean, if you want to see exactly where it put most of those files, you can actually check out the log. As you guys can see, it put it inside your common file time cycle. I mean, as you guys can see the list from right here, you can actually see exactly what it install. As you guys can see, like if I had to do this myself, I would have to go to each one of these folders one by one. Where open IV can actually do it for you. Why not? Right? Okay. So other than that, let's close this. Go back again. Now, as far as optional, you have a bunch of stuff you can actually install. Motion blur, I don't use anymore. Dynamic shadow, let me see which one is that. I don't use that anymore. That is up to you if you're looking, um, if you want to use more shadow and stuff like that. Earth atmosphere, I don't use anymore. The ENB file, which is what we just installed. I mean, we we installed a portion of this a second ago. So let's drag that and drop into your GTA 5 main directory folder. Just like I say, your main directory folder. Uh let me see, was that part? Yes, that is part of it too. And then weather weather detector dot ASI. This is this ASI file you need it. 
which help, of course. Other than that, you are done with this. You are done with the ENB settings. Uh, this I installed too. It helps make your game look better, of course. <laughs> So let's follow the same steps where you don't have to install it yourself. You just let open IV install it for you. Remember to pick the mod folder every time um, you don't want to corrupt your game. If you're installing the regular GTA, it might not work since you already have the mod folder. All right. So the next one is remove grass. Yes. And tree reflection, which help. <laughs> so let's remove that too. It feels so long since I used Visual 5. I've been using NVE, but NVE, you kind of have to pay to get it. I feel like Visual 5 is a free soft. It's, it's a free um, BNB right now where you guys I'm still waiting on the release of um, NVE, which is taking so long. So reshade guys reshade preset that is up to you guys. I have a B system and this still hit me. So this is why I'm saying like, especially for LSPFO, if you're inside LSPFO, this is not for you. If you're doing, um, if you have a B system and you plan on installing not that much mod, you can actually use this. But if you plan on installing a lot of mods, this is not for you. I always skip that one because this is definitely not for me. Cause it, it just like I said on, on the, <laughs> on the folder performance loss. All right. Okay. So we are done in case you messed up or you did something crazy. You can actually, um, remove, uh, the, the first folder that you installed, which is this one right here. All right. So now that we are done with visual five guys, we're going to be testing the game in a second though. Cause there's so many, like, I like to take the steps and slow down and um, and check if the game is working, because one thing I always try my best to do is not to install all the mods and then check at the end. So, so far we've been installing my small mods, small mods. So which one did we get up to? Okay. So we got up to visual five brighter night for visual five. I think I'm going to stop at simple native train. No, actually mania mania. And most of these five you, you need. So I feel like I can actually install all this and be okay. So visual five, we just installed right now. Brighter nights for visual five. Let's go. Let's go to the link. Let's download it. Right. We got that. Let's unpack it. All right. Now you guys have all the files, right? I'm going to show you exactly where to install it. Now you need to open open IV. Uh, click on Grand Theft Auto five. Make sure you click on Grand Theft Auto five. All right, so let's put it right up here. Let's go to our mod folder. Let's go to update. Double click on that. Let's go to update again. Let's go to comment folder data. Let's go to time cycle. And this is all the um, the files that you're going to be replacing. So let's move this over here so I can actually see it. Take all that and let's drag that in here. All right, so we just replace all the files that were in there. That's it. Now that you're done with that, we can actually close this. I'm not even sure which mod is next. All right, so let's here. All right, so the next mod is Simple Native Trainer, which is one of the trainers that I use every like I've been using this for a while now. I think since GTA 4. <laughs> Let's download Simple Native Trainer, which is the latest version for the latest GTA 5. Of course, let's unpack it. Also, you guys get to see this. Right. Okay, so Simple Native Trainer is going on your main directory of GTA 5. So just copy these two files, drag and drop into your main directory of GTA 5. Let's close it. This is simple native, native trainer right here. That's it. That's all you need. And the next um, one on the dock, I'll make sure to link this dock for you guys where you guys can actually use um, all the links and stuff like that. So mania, which is another trainer that I use a lot. Like I can't live without simple native trainer and mania. <laughs> so that's the two two um, trainer that I use the most. All right, so, so let's take this one. I 
unpack it right here. All right, same step, drag and drop. This is why I'm always saying drag and drop. So you gotta, um, you're gonna pick, be picking one. The license not really. Just pick these two, drag, and drop it right in here. All right. So this is your menu. You got the SI file and the menu stuff folder. That's it for menu. And also now let's see the next step, which is the pack file limiter adjuster, which is going on your main directory also. So this is just it's kind of unlocking the files. Just just in a way it's lying to you. <laughs> it's lying to your game to tell your game, you know what? The file size and stuff like that is this amount. What I usually do too is um change the numbers on those. So you're doing the same thing, drag and drop. Drag and drop it right over here. I usually go in the I and I file. Instead of 52, I usually put like an extra one in front of that. It's I don't know, it helps sometimes. <laughs> this is just me. All right. And let's go to the next one. Pack file. Uh heap limit adjuster. Which need. Oh, I didn't mean to copy it, but um, open it, of course. Let's open the link. Uh, let's download it. And this is also going on your um, G your main GTA directory, of course. And just like I said, the first step is pretty straightforward where you don't have to find any folder. These are um, ASI files or ASI. Yes, ASI files that will help your game in a way line to your game. <laughs> since you are modifying it because you're going to be modifying those folders. Once you start adding cars and stuff like that, yes, your game is going to is going to be glitchy or it's going to crash. So in order to avoid those crash, you have to add those files. Now game config game config allow you to install unlimited unlimited cars up to 300 cars most likely. But um, let's go into this folder right here. Open link. All right, so I've been using this version for the longest. Um, let me see when this was this release. The first version was released back in 2016. So I've been using this for a while now. Let's make sure we download it. All right, let's unpack the folder also. All right, just like I said, if you skip a step, just go back. Uh, if you mess up your game, I'm sorry. You have to restart. <laughs> or if you don't know how to get it back, you might not have to restart. Where you can actually go back and fix that that um that folder by just grabbing it from the uh, from your GTA directory and add it to your mod folder. But if you mess up, the only thing you could really do is go in here, delete everything, and re-download them in there. I mean, re um kind of transfer them back in here again and start from step one. But um, right now, let's go to our game config. I usually install the um, 0.5 um, time traffic, but the location you need to install is by going to open IV again. You see how useful open IV is. This is going to be like your best friend when it comes to modding GTA. And when I say definitely thank you to the guys at open IV, I remember when um, mod were about to be like where we, we were we, like they was trying to stop mod and that was the first thing they attack <laughs> without open IV. There's a lot of things you can't do, but now that everything is legal when it comes to mods and stuff like that, I really appreciate those guys. I'm happy we start the petition and all that stuff and it did work out, of course, but um, let's go in here. Update. Let's go to update again. Common data. And you're gonna find um, game config. As you can see, it's right over here. What you're doing is drag and drop again. Drag that and drop it right in here. Now, I haven't installed no cars or anything like that. That's it, you're done. Depends on which one you decide to install. You could do five times traffic, the stop, tr the stock traffic, main, main, um, um, main GTA base, of course. But this is all the mods and your folder should look something like this. If you want to check, check it again. Your folder should look something like this for now. And then let's go back again. 
so far, as you guys can see from this list, this is all we install. This is us just preparing our game for either LSPDFR or just us just putting a bunch of cars, outfits and stuff like that. It just depends on which one you plan on playing. But this is the base of like starting GTA, get it working. But anyway, since we just did all that to GTA, let's make sure we exit all these. All right. We just did all that to GTA. Let's make sure it worked first before you even install a car. Make sure you do that. Now let's make sure we um, get a folder. I'm going to call this folder done. All right, because this is all the mods that I install. We're just going to drag it right in here. All right, so now that we just install everything, let's go back to Steam. Let's start GTA. Let's make sure everything works. Now, if something don't work, remember, you can always go back and fix it. It's not the end of the world now, <laughs> but it's, I'm kind of happy. Like most of these mods now are drag and drop. So this is the first step. As you guys can see, it's checking it. This is the first time I'm starting this version of GTA. So everything should work fine. As you guys can see, it is starting right now. That's why you can't see. Now I did not have my game on. Uh, let's see if it's actually going to be on on full mode. Yes, it is. Once you see that on the left side, as you can see the ENB series, you're all set, man. You're all set. But it doesn't mean your game is going to work. <laughs> Not until every once it go through the whole process. Now I'm turning on my controller. Let's see. Uh, I'm going to help you guys set up simple native trainer and also mania. Once you get those set up, you should be fine. And then after that, you are ready to add a bunch of mods to your game as far as um, outfits that you want to add to your game, uh, cars, guns, sounds, sounds as far as vehicle sounds, uh, car sound, motorcycle sounds. I mean, it depends. Even you can actually have the characters talking different voice and stuff like that. So it just depends on what you guys want to install in your game. But just like I said, this is the basic part of installing the mods. You need this in order to move on. As you guys can see, I didn't even install scripthook.net yet, only because if you go on the LSPFR way, I'm not sure if LSPFR still work with scripthook.net because once you install scripthook.net, LSPFR doesn't work. That was one thing that happened. That was part of the past. I'm not sure if it still worked. That's why I'm skipping that part for now. But right now, I'm just waiting for GTA 5 to load. Uh, there's one more step that I have to show you guys with sample native trainer, and then this should be your first um, your first tutorial on modding GTA, man. Congratulations. You got this now. You got this. Once you learn how to do this, everything else should be easy. All right. So as you guys can see, I have visual five running. The mod look amazing as you guys can see, but um, you need to press F3. F3 is going to pull up your sample native trainer. Now, let's set a couple things with sample native trainer before we get going. Now, I don't like using my controller in sample native trainer. Let's hang up the phone. Come on. All right. So, I don't like using certain mods with sample native trainer as far as uh, my controller and stuff like that. So as you guys can see, uh, your controller, if you use your control, if you're using an Xbox 360 or PS5 control, PS4 control, actually, right now, you can actually control open IV. So first step is um, let's go to the right key bindings. I usually remove that because I don't want no headache when it comes to LSPFR and stuff like that. And controller support is up to you. That version is, all, is always up to you. And also, I like to change the color so I can actually see. Depends on morning, night, or whenever. So let's change the color. I usually change mine to red or brown. So let's just try to get right to it. A oh, fire brick usually works for me too. Or oh, just regular red most of the time. Yeah, I think we'll do red. And then after you're done with all that, guys, um, depends on if you want to change anything else. Press five. This is the number you have to use the number pad. So in order to go up is eight. In order to move on or go back is four, six, and to go down it's two. And five is to confirm or enter. So let's press five. 
and then let's press five again to confirm. And whenever you want to exit or to go back is zero. So it's really up to you guys. So it's once it's save, it usually start with this little delay. But other than that, you are all set. And I am um, in order to open it, it's F um, three. In order to close it, it's F four or zero. It depends on which one you decide to use. So this is simple native trainer and mania start with F six, I think. No, actually F eight. As once you press it, you hear that meaning it confirmed that mania work. You got to press F eight one more time and mania work the same way with two, four, eight, six. That's the numbers you're going to be using and five to enter. So it just depends on what you want to do. But mania allow you to do so much just like simple native, just like simple native trainer. But I just want to show you guys uh, that um, the uh, the ENB mod did work by changing the time. As you guys can see, one thing we install is to be able to see at night. As you guys can see, it does work. And also the weather. Wait, I can actually use it this way instead. So extra sunny, clear. Neutral, smog, foggy, overcast, clouds, clearing, low rain over there, rain, thunder, snow, blizzard, uh, light snow, Christmas, and also Halloween. So yeah, it just depends on what you decide to use. But as you guys can see, I got the game working. This, uh, if you got this far, <laughs> you did it. You did it, bro. Congratulations. But other than that, be on the lookout for the next episode. Of course, I'm gonna show you guys exactly how to install cars. Depends on what you guys want to install. But leave some comments. What you want to learn how to install in GTA 5, man? Let me know. But other than that, make sure to click on that like button if this video helped you out. But other than that, man, thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. I'll catch you guys next time, man. Peace.